What's going on, everybody? <laughs> Welcome to another beautiful and uh, glorious day. Uh, check this out, right? So, I know it's been hard to find like hand sanitizer and different things like that. Um, like things like hand sanitizer, some of this stuff you actually can make yourself. If you look it up online, like, um, I believe, because I know I made some myself, you take, you could take aloe, uh, alcohol, and, like, witch hazel and make your own hand sanitizer if you needed to. Um, alcohol is a hand sanitizer or disinfectant. Uh, peroxide is like a hand sanitizer or disinfectant. Uh... I mean, think about it. If you put alcohol or peroxide on a wound, what's going to happen? It's going to kill it. It's going to kill them germs. You feel what I'm saying? So, if you... Like, a lot of stuff, like Lysol, like disinfectant spray and all that stuff. A lot of this stuff we actually have in our own homes already. You know, we just have to take the initiative of saying, okay, wait, it's not in the store. So, how about... I just make my own. Now, this is what I'm saying right here. I got a whole little uh, giddy up. I got extra just in case, and I'll show y'all what I did. I didn't have any aloe, but, um, oh man, that's leaking. I took a bottle of peroxide. I took. bottle of witch hazel now i found these at walmart you might find them just about anywhere but i found them at walmart this is where i found mine um and alcohol alcohol so with that being said you can take three all three of these products and make something and it actually is actually smells pretty freaking delicious let me now i took a give me a second get up here how's everybody doing today i took you know one of them dollar store hand sanitizer bottles that you know i kind of ran out and I'm like, man, I need hand sanitizer. You know, I touch a lot of plants. And I'm always, you know, have to touch this, touch that, even though I have gloves now. But you still need hand sanitizer. Like, you can take this stuff in the bathroom with you if you need to. You got to use a public restroom. And, you know, you need something that you feel comfortable with. Wiping off, like, toilet seats and stuff like that. Now... I have a spray pen, but I can't figure out what I did with it. And what it is, is one of those hand sanitizer spray pens that I end up finding at the truck stop. Um, I mean, they overprice them, but they work. Normally, I've, I don't know why I said that. But I have that spray pen, and what I'll do is I'll put some of the uh, hand sanitizer that I made. I'll put that inside of the uh, spray pen and, you know, I'll carry that with me wherever I go. So I'll take the spray pen and, you know, if I go in the bathroom or something like that, I'll, you know, spray, spray, spray. You know what I'm saying? I'm not spraying people or spraying around people, but, you know, if I don't care if I got to touch a sink with a napkin or whatever the case may be, I'll take that. You know, I'll sit up there and I'll take that spray and t t kill them germs really quick before I even touch it with a napkin. You know, anything, just about anything. Um, rule of advice with, well, I can't really give advice because everybody's already doing it, you know, not hanging out and lingering in the truck stops and everything like that. Every I've been seeing a lot of people keep social distances, so that is actually pretty good, pretty dope. Um, other than that, you know, I just wanted to touch base with y'all. Like a lot of this stuff you can Google, 
Um, you can go online to like Reddit and all of that stuff and just, you know, Google how to make homemade hand sanitizer. A lot of people have different ways on how to do it. It's like if you was to make homemade soap, you know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of these things can be made from basically anything that's already around your household. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, anything, you know, like, like if you got bleach and water, that goes a long way. Just don't use too much of it, though. You know what I'm saying? I don't know the outcome, but I'm pretty sure it ain't pretty. So don't use too much of it. But just take the time and, you know, I know a lot of people is like, man, you can't find this in the stores. You can't find that. You can't find this. You ain't got to find it in the store. It's already in your house. Look in your first aid kit. If you got a first aid kit, look in your first aid kit. You might see some antibacterial disinfectant spray up in there or whatever it may be called. You might just find it right then and there. It's like, oh, snap. I already got all this stuff and I could just, you know, I could just clean up the house and, you know, use little by little. And because I know this is different for a lot of people not being able to just go straight to the stores and it's like I can go buy it without having to try making it on my own. But in these times right now, what we got to do is go back to how they used to do things back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Before all of this stuff became mass produced, I'm not knocking nobody hustle. You know, if you got to. You know, I'm not knocking no big major businesses or retailers and everything because everybody got to make their money. But when you run out of stuff and you can't provide and say, friends, that's like the only grocery store in someone's neighborhood or shopping market or mom and pop whatsoever, even though I'm pretty sure the mom and pops ain't running out. But if it's something like that, that's in somebody's neighborhood, then, you know, and it ain't nothing there. What else are you going to do? You feel what I'm saying? You know, a lot of people live out in the country where the closest store is 30, 45 minutes from where they live at. That's the closest store. So it's like when you need it, how else are you going to um get it? You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people, they do a lot of bulk shopping when they live 30, 45 minutes from a store. You feel what I'm saying? So, I mean, hey, you probably already got it sitting right there. And you ain't got nothing to worry about. So, but yeah, I just wanted to run that by y'all, you know, just, you know, Google a lot of these products. I heard some drivers talking earlier, you know, not um having certain products and things like that at the house. And, you know, I was going to drop my knowledge, but some guy already had that came up and like, hey, man, you know, you can make all that stuff yourself. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, he's absolutely right. You can just take the time, take 15 minutes, get it down pat, make it yourself. And then guess what? Not only do you feel proud that you actually made something yourself that's going to work. You also feel proud that you still was able to save money in your pocket. So with that being said, Y'all be safe out there, and I'll rock with y'all next time.